Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Zenith Versions and welcome back to this series of Cisco ASA 0 to Hero. And in this lesson we are going to uh, discuss the redundant interfaces. I mean redundancy, not redundant interfaces because we discussed that in the previous uh, lesson. Uh, so this is redundancy. And the first thing we discussed was redundant interface. So the benefit was that we had a backup interface, but the drawback was that uh, the other member interfaces were not active. Yeah, uh, until 8.6 code of the ASA, this was the only solution. Now, after that, we have the port channel or ether channel, you can say, which we configure in the uh, switches, right? So the same um, we can leverage now in inside ASA. So, I mean, this is the naming. Uh, we will say like port channel 10 on the ASA and then we'll configure the um, switch also with port channel. We'll bundle these two and these two interfaces in a single port channel one or 10. Then we will, uh, I mean, then what happens is you have the load balance balancing capability there. So all the interfaces you can buy the, I mean, you can um, include 16 interfaces, but uh, only eight will be active. Uh, I mean, load balancing and eight will be on standby. Yeah, so that is the thing. And uh, this is why we use, uh, I mean, mostly we use the port channel concept. And how do you do this? You go to, I mean, each of the devices, you configure the, um, port channel uh, as is in, in switch and then in ASA and then uh, the actual load balancing is taken care by, care by the uh, load balancing algorithm. Whether you are using LACP, I mean, you have that, uh, I mean, the, 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 you have the selection, right? Either you do it by source or uh, source and destination max, source and destination IP, source max destination, I mean, like that port number and uh, also include. So you have different uh, based on the LACP or um, uh, static version, right? So that is the port channel. Okay, then let's start the um, configurations. So let's go to uh, switch four, which is my outside for switch here. Enable config T and let me host name. Uh, I mean, change the host name to outside switch. So, first thing first, I need to configure these three um, ports in the same VLAN. I'll go to switch four and I have what I have the uh, 001 and two. So, I'll first of all go and say VLAN 20 then exit, then interface range, uh, interface range, gigabit 0, 5, 0, 2, 1, and 2. Yeah, I'll say switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN, mm, then hit enter, and then switch port access VLAN 20. That's it and done. Now exit. Now let's begin the actual configurations for the port channel. Again, I'll go to the port channel uh, interfaces that I want to bundle one and two. Interface range gigabit zero by one and two. Yeah, I'll see channel group, any number that you like, one through two, five, five. It need not be same on the ASA and the switch, but it's recommended so that it's easy for you to T shoot, yeah, five mode, and then you have options here on the switch. You have options to use pack P, you have option to use LACP, and you have options to use uh, manual. But on the ASA, it's only LACP that is supported and manual. So I'll go and say active, yeah, and then no shut. Exit. Now you go to the interface port channel. Port channel. 
five and you can also specify the i mean commands here mode and um, that is already there i think if i show exit and i say show do show do show uh yeah run interface um say gigabit zero slash one i have the uh, commands already there and also if i say two the um these two are part of the same uh portion so if i do it and show um interface no if i do port channel okay that is like ether channel here ether channel uh five some so yeah it is this is down as of now so that is fine you can do one thing i mean the order of operations is very important so you can do one thing you can go to interface port channel see five and say uh, shut for the time being yeah keep it like this and go to the ac to configure the port channel so here what you do is you go to the um, again the interfaces that you want to uh, bundle this is eth0 eth1 yeah so you go to interface you don't have the uh, range here so you have to do it one by one so interface eth0 you say channel channel group and then on the switch side i had five let's go for 10 here so that i want to show you that um, it need not be same and once you hit a uh, question mark here you will see you have you would have only option for active and on so that's why uh, I, I configured lacp on the switch so here also active and let's say no shut yeah and then again do the same thing for the ethernet one and i do the same thing and say no shut so that's said and done exit now you have to go to the interface uh port channel 10 yeah and let's specify a virtual mac here so that we can track this on the router mac address uh so this side i will say 00 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. yeah and then you specify the configurations here on this port channel so outside right and then you specify the ip address which is 192.1.20.10 i don't need the subnet mask i can hit enter here because this is class c and you can say no shut once you say no shut here go quickly on the switch yeah and say no shut here as well and wait for a while so that the port channel will come up so you can see it's changed to down and it changed to up now nice so now if you do the uh show show ether channel uh here it was five yeah it was five here and you can see that this is su that means s means layer 2 and u means in use yeah that's what i want this side is layer 2 and this side is layer 3 so if i do here show a uh, port channel and then it was 10 right and summary so this shows in use that's what i want to see so i will now ping 192.1.20. Two. before that i need to configure this on the router too if i go here no this is not configured so quickly i need to go and configure the router too so we will test uh, a ping or we will do a telnet from inside to outside we will conf configure the nat because in from inside i have redundant interface from outside i have port channel so let's let's try that Let's wait for this to work. Uh, the order of operations is very important while configuring the port channel. So make sure that you have the um, ports shut down uh, on one side until you configure it on the other side. Okay, so I'll enable config T. Let's rename the host name to R2. 
I will enable telnet here, like uh, line VTY 0 to 4. Uh, let's set the password to Cisco and say login, login and say transport input all. And let's go to the interface gigabit zero slash zero slash zero. Oh, no, it's inter international. Interface gigabit zero zero, no shut. IP address 192.1.20.2. 255 255 255 uh, and I did the no shirt right yeah let's do an exit don't want the loop back uh, and show IP interface brief if I do with a do on the beginning I should, should see this now if I go and ping the interface on the um, firewall that is this one it should be reachable 1.20.10 yeah now if I do the show uh, show R the it should be the virtual MAC address yeah, so I can see the virtual MAC address here. So that is how you do the uh, port channel configurations. And to on the ASA, I said to see the, I mean, port channel, you can see port, show port channel. And yeah, and this is what I told you that we already have two ports, but maximum, how many we can have? 16, but only eight will be um, I mean, active. And the maximum number of port channels that you can configure is 48. Yeah, even though it shows when you go and say interface uh, port channel, I think it was on this or, and then hit a question mark. Oh, it shows one for one through 48. On the switch, it's uh, different, right? So if you go to switch and you say uh, interface port channel like this, if you say, then hit question mark, it's, Oh, it's also 48 here. Okay, uh, somewhere I saw 255. Anyways, so that that is one thing you need to be aware of. And you can see the load balancing um, method that is used is source IP and destination IP. Yeah, and now from inside to outside, if you want to go, so I have um, show interface IP brief if I do. So I should have the rendered interface from inside and port channel from the outside. So now if I want to go from inside to outside, I should have the, um, I mean the um, uh, natting. So I'll configure the natting object network, INS subnet is my 10.11.11.0255255255.0. And then I'll say the NAT inside SNAT, not net, NAT inside comma outside and say dynamic let's say interface that's done now i'll go to the r1 i i should have the um uh default route set right so what happened to this i need to stop and start this again let's go to r1 Enable show IP interface brief. I have this and show IP route. Mm, I have this also. So let's do a telnet to 192.1.20.2 from inside to outside and this should work. Cisco show users and this should be the IP address of the outside interface of ASA, which is the uh, port channel, right? Port channel 10, I think, yeah. And this should be like dot 10, yeah. So I hope you understood and liked the video and um, don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel until the next video. Bye bye from my side.